carve the tooth. As we have done uh, in the upper central incisor, I'm going to remove wax at the cervical region till I reach the tooth. Or I may leave about one millimeter away from the outline of the tooth. Then I will move with the wax knife convex to make the convex outline of the tooth. From the lingual, I'm going to remove wax till I reach the cervical region. Then I'm going to move with the wax knife convex, then concave, then com slightly convex. Sometimes we don't do this slightly convex, the convexity, the last convexity here. We do it at last when we are going to, we, when we are carving the fossa. Again, I'm going to do the sim same steps here. With the wax knife till I reach the cervical region and I'm going to keep about one millimeter around the border from each side here and here. always looking for the mesial and the distal sometimes we draw only the mesial we don't draw the distal but for a beginner it's better to draw the both aspects look here the wax knife, removing wax till I reach the cervical, then move convex till the wax knife stops here at the incisal edge and its other end at the crest of curvature, which is on the center of the cervical third. Let the surface be smooth. Then make the root. Remove wax of the root. Always I'm looking from the mesial and the distal sides. Here. Like this. Take care not to burn your hands with the melted wax. like this. And also here, the same steps here, leave about one millimeter around the outline of the tooth, like this. Let the surface be smooth. The same steps will be done from the lingual outline. the cervical cervical line touch the cervical line with the wax knife remove the excess wax here take care to make or to carve the rest of curvature now I'm going to move with the wax knife to, to make the concavity of the lingual fossa, like this. Leave about one millimeter around the board. The make the outline of the root. Always look from the mesial and the distal sides in order not to remove more wax from one side more than the other. Here the root, then remove excess wax and round up 
the apex of the root. Now use the curve. To remove the excess wax or the one millimeter wax you left around your border. Here is the lateral the outline. This is the crest of curvature, both sides, the incisal edge on the align, the same line with the apex. Now use the carve like this. Remove a very thin layer from the wax till you reach the outline U of the tooth like this take care the surface should be smooth here again all over the tooth here again take care the crest of curvature at the center of the cervical third. Don't remove, remove it while you are removing the excess wax. The surface should be smooth. The apex should be rounded. And now here is the mesial and distal aspects of the lateral. Here, this mesial and distal aspect is the same as the central except with little differences. Also, the size of the lateral is smaller than the size of the central. 